Wait, that special report. We turn now to the FBI raid at Detroit City Hall. It's attracting national attention to a city long determined to move past periods of corruption. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan taking questions from reporters today about more alleged wrongdoing in the city. And this time it's two members of city council that are under the microscope. Councilwoman Janae Ayers and Councilman Scott Benson. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig live outside Detroit Police Headquarters with a look at the message Mayor Duggan delivered today, Kim. Yes, Glenda and Brian and the mayor says he did not, nor would he expect to get a heads up from the FBI that this was going to go down yesterday. And he did say that today he talked to Police Chief James White about how they can further clean up corruption in towing in the city. We need to finish the job of cleaning out the unscrupulous uh, towers and dealing with this uh, rotation permitting system uh, once and for all. This is the third federal investigation in four years uh, that has arisen from this towing operation. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan even pointing out that a former deputy police chief, Celia Washington, even went to prison for a year for accepting bribes to steer towing business to a particular contractor. A number of police officers were also indicted for taking bribes tied to towing. And insiders say that towing is what is at the center of this week's FBI raids at the homes and offices of council members Scott Benson and Janae Ayers, both up for re-election this year, though Benson is running unopposed for his third term in District 3. I don't know about how it impacts the election, but it's certainly uh, discouraging for the people uh, of the city of Detroit. It's never good uh, when the feds uh, are delivering uh, search warrants. The mayor says much of the problem started about a decade ago. And this stems from a decision in 2011 and 2012 not to competitively bid the towing in this town, but to create a permit system with a preferential group of people in a rotation that people don't fully understand. It is a, a system uh, fraught with potential uh, for abuse. In 2017, when police chief James White was an assistant chief, he was tasked with cleaning up the towing system, and that resulted in terminating some contracts and changing the practice that allowed a tow company to find stolen vehicles. We had evidence that it appeared some of the towers were in uh, cahoots with the car thieves. Uh, and after we stopped that practice of allowing people to find stolen cars and get the towing fees, uh, the, the car theft rate dropped significantly in the city. The Detroit Police Department now tows 25% of the vehicles, and the mayor says they still need to eliminate a preferential rotation system and go to open competitive bidding. I've asked Chief White in two weeks to bring me a plan to eliminate uh, this towing rotation practice uh, once and, and for good, and he's in full agreement that's the next thing we need to do. And council members Ayers and Benson have not been charged with any crime, and they have not responded to our request for comment. Reporting live in Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.